of Ready Math. We're continuing our work with geometry, working with shapes. In this lesson, we're talking about tiling and rectangles. And this is kind of an introductory piece for you as a second grader, but it's something that you're going to continue to use, as I said before in our last lesson, as you go throughout elementary school. And so it's going to be kind of important in um, third grade a lot. All right. So let's talk about tiling and rectangles. So when they talk about tiling, they're talking about taking little squares and kind of breaking it up inside of a bigger square or bigger rectangle. So let's think about what a tile is. All right. So maybe you've seen floor tiles. If you're at school, you can look down the floor and maybe see those little squares that are in the floor. Or maybe you have tiles at your house, like maybe in the bathroom or in the kitchen. All right. If you don't know, aren't sure, ask your parents about tiles and they might be able to point some out around your house. But tiles are like little squares, little rectangles that get put together to make like a pattern usually, um, something like that. All right. So we're going to start talking about tiling and rectangles. So basically taking some larger shapes and breaking them into many smaller shapes. So in the book, you have some examples here in red that are good examples. All right, and they're good examples because I'm gonna put a little check mark beside these because they're good because they have broken these larger shapes into smaller shapes, but they're all equal pieces. That's the thing about tiling is that we need them to be all equal pieces. So this rectangle at the top, they broke into three squares. This rectangle over here, they broke into 12 smaller squares. All right, but you'll see that all the pieces look exactly the same. Down here at the bottom, they gave you some examples that were not good examples. Because here you see a square, then you also see a big square and you see little squares. So I'm putting a little X beside that because those are not all the same size. And over here, it's the same thing. We have some bigger squares, but then we have some smaller rectangles and they're not the same size or the same shape, all right? So when we talk about tiling, they have to have the same size and the same shape throughout. So let's look at some examples from the book. Here they got you started with four little squares across the top. And they started putting some squares down the bottom. And they needed you to finish filling in the squares. So I'm going to get my black pin over here. Again, these might not be perfectly straight. But I'm going to fill in the rest of this rectangle. Now, I've finished off this side, but I'm not done because remember, all of them have to be the same size. So I have to have them all as the same size square. And so I'm going to extend this line down the page. It's going to be close. Again, not perfect. But now we filled that rectangle with some smaller squares. And then your book kind of wants you to look back and see how many are in there. So if we look at each row, there are four. So I can actually skip count by fours. All right, so four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. All right, or I could have skipped counted how many are in each column. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can actually skip count by sixes as well. Six, 12, 18, 24. All right, so skip counting helps us do that a little bit faster. If you are able to skip count and you get confused, you can skip count part of the way. So I could say four, eight, 12, 16. But if I couldn't remember what came after that, I could count on. So I can go 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. But either way we count it, or if we have to count it one by one, we see that there are 24 squares. That looks like a Y. There are 24 squares inside of that larger rectangle. So what about over here? Let's look at this picture. Obviously, our squares are going to be bigger. So are there going to be as many squares in this rectangle as there are over here? No. I know that already because these squares are taking up more space. So there's going to be fewer of them than we had over here on the left. So now I've divided that rectangle up into equal parts. 
all squares that are about the same size. And again, my drawings are not perfect. Well, let's count these. Obviously, I see there's two here, so I can say two, four, six, or I could skip count three, six, or I could just count all of them. But all together, there are six little squares or six squares inside of that larger rectangle. All right, so that's the introduction to tiling. Like, like I said, it'll be something you work on later on a little bit more, and it's going to be a little bit more important, but they're getting you started on that here in second grade. So just as a reminder, if you're dealing with tiles or drawing squares inside of larger rectangles, you need to make sure they all are the same size and they have to be the